I would have lost it all. But now I see how you were there for me. I can't say never would have made it. Never could have made it without you. I would have lost it all. But now I see how you were there. I'm stronger, I'm wiser, I'm better, so much better. When I look back on my heart and wrong you turn, now I can see the one ahead of you, and I never, never, never could have made it, never could have made it. to go ahead and share this live video. The Lord has a word just for you. Not for your sister or your brother, but he has a word just for you. Amen. Just use this time to say that it's just for me. Go ahead and get in that mindset that God has something that he wants to tell you on today. Amen. So it's church time. Go ahead, get your Bibles ready, your house shoes, put the breakfast on the table and the orange juice right beside you. Amen. Because God has a word just for you. morning church welcome to Rehoboth I'll be reading from Hebrews chapter 12 beginning at verse 1 wherefore seeing we also are compassed about 
with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be weary and faint in your minds. May the Lord add a blessing to those who not only hear and adhere, but see him for who he is in his word. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Lord, we just want to thank you. You resisted unto blood, unto your life, so that we wouldn't have to. You've taken every consequence for our transgressions. You chose us even when we were your staunchest enemy. Thanking you is not enough. Meeting you on your terms grows to be enough because you make of us who you will. We ask that as we not merely hear this word, but eat this word and sow this word within ourselves, that we take on whatever chastisement it might bring, whatever changes are necessary, whatever cleansing is necessary, and that, Lord, you, you also forgive us for where we have gone against you because we, can't, we cannot receive you with any stronghold in the way. We ask that those be removed as well. We thank you. For it's in the truly mighty name of Jesus that we do pray. Amen. Y'all, we decided to have a little help today. Help us welcome Minister Cedric Brown. Old friend of ours and of yours, too. Praise the Lord, everybody. How many come to celebrate Jesus this morning? Hallelujah. In your back room, in your front room, outside on your patio. Come on, just lift those hands and bless God this morning. He's worthy, yes, he is. Hallelujah. We serve a big God with big blessings. Hallelujah. We have the victory in Jesus. Somebody say, yeah. Bless your name, bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We just come to bless you this morning. Every hope of pray that this music and this song will be a blessing to your spirit. Hallelujah. How many serve a big God? Come on, let's bless the Lord on this morning. Come on, come on, put those hands together. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Count your word. Listen, listen. See, our God yeah. is big. Yes, he is. He's so strong yeah. and mighty. Yeah. And his plan, oh my, for me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is victory, victory, victory. Come on, let me say, our God oh, is big. It's big. Come on. He's so strong. So strong.
there's nothing my God cannot do. Can I get a witness? There's nothing my God cannot do. He can do the impossible. There's nothing my God cannot do. Hey, yeah. There's nothing my God cannot do. Come on, help me say it. There's nothing, there's nothing my God yeah. cannot do. Come on, if you believe it, come on. There is nothing I can Jesus. 
Yes, I got it. I got it. Yes, I do. I Come on, oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. I it. Yes, I, I do. Think I Today is ours. These are your announcements. Just a reminder, Bible study will be tomorrow. You can join us Facebook Live or YouTube Live starting at 6 p.m. Please join us and invite a friend. For your financial obligations, you can pay online, you can pay using the church app, or through text to give. You can also pay using our cash app at dollar sign RCWC1 or you can bring your tithes and offering here to the church. These are your announcements. Please govern yourselves accordingly. Hallelujah. God is worthy to be praised, amen. Hallelujah, he's a good God. He woke us up this morning, he started us on our way. Amen. We got a reason to give God praise, hallelujah. In spite of the pandemic, in spite of the scandemic, God is still good. He's going to keep the people of God. Amen. How many know we serve a good God? Come on, wherever you are, just wave those hands. Come on. Come on. Come on. If you don't mind, come on, just wave those hands. Hallelujah, Jesus. The song I learned when I was six years old. That was sanctified church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They put their hands together like this. They will say this right here. They say, God is a good God. Say, yes, yes, yes. yes. God is a good God. Say, yes, yes. Come on, say, God is a good God. Say, yes, yes. Say, my God is a good God. Say, yes, yes. I know God is a good God. Say, yes, yes. I know God. Somebody call his name out. Jesus. Somebody call his name out. Jesus. 
like God is still good and I believe hallelujah when everything else fail you got to hold up faith amen don't give up your faith be strong you might lose a car you might lose a, a house you might even lose a loved one but don't lose your faith in God hallelujah we got to believe no matter what we're going through God is going to bring us out all right Come on, all over the world, all over the Facebook land. Come on, just wave those hands. Wherever you may be, you too, wherever you may be, just wave those hands. Give God glory in spite of. Hallelujah. Oh, you're worthy. Yes, you are. Hallelujah. That's why I testify all the time. There's nobody like you. The ways you made, the things you've done, you give us strength every day. In spite of, hallelujah, we thank you, Jesus, because there's no one like you. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah.
on, bless the Lord. Come on, come on, if you know there's nobody like our Lord. Come on, give him praise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nobody like our Lord. There's nobody like our Father. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, for all you've done and for what you're going to do, God. We give you praise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Is that your testimony? Is that your testimony this morning? We're so glad to have you here this morning. Praise the Lord. Whether you're coming through by YouTube or Facebook, we're so honored and blessed to have you to be a part of this worship service this morning. Amen. If you would join us as we go to the Lord in prayer at this time. Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you, Lord, for our rest on last night. We thank you, oh God, that you saw fit to allow us to see a brand new day. We pray, oh Heavenly Father, that thou would allow us to take full advantage of the day in which you've given us. We ask, oh God, that thou would forgive us of our sins. For we realize that we've sinned and we've sinned against thee. Oh God, we lift up those that are in affliction right now. Somebody that might be under the sound of my voice might woke up this morning in pain. But God, we know that you are a healer. And we pray, oh God, that thou would heal them even right now, God. Because we also know that thou art a right now God. Perhaps somebody woke up this morning, heard some bad news. But God, we know you are a way maker. And we ask, oh God, that thou would make a way this morning. That you would be a deliverer this morning. That you would be a friend this morning. And we ask God that thou would Search our hearts this morning. And if you find anything that shouldn't be, take it out now, Lord. For it's our will to be just like you now. We want to walk like you. We want to talk like you. We want to love like you, God. And then, God, we want to hear you say one day, servant, well done. So give us strength, oh God, as we walk along our daily journey. Give us strength, oh God, to do thine divine will. We pray, oh God, that you would show yourself strong and mighty. We pray for those that might be going through with COVID, that you would heal their bodies. We pray for every leader, God. Those that work in the medical field, we pray for them. Those that are first responders, we pray for those. We pray for the leaders in the body of Christ. We pray for the leaders of city, states, and countries. Oh God, show yourself. Glory to God. The words say you've never lost a battle. That there's nothing too hard for you, God. Help us, oh God, now to stand. And now, God, we ask if there's anything that would hinder us 
from receiving your word that you're moving right now. Because it's your word that we need now, Lord. It's life in your word, and we thank you for it. Thank you for the change. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Come on, give God a hand praise. Come on, right where you are, come on, give God a praise. Come on, take a minute just to stop doing what you're doing. Hallelujah. And just begin to let God hear your voice. Come on, let God hear your voice. Come on, we're turning our house into a temple. Come on, we're turning it into a tabernacle. Come on, lift your voice. Invite God to come on in. Make him welcome in your house. Yes, sir, come on in, God. Have your way. I double dog down somebody and just tell God, have your way. Yeah. Come on in, God. Take over. Fix it, God. Work it out, God. Make a way, God. Heal, God. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. This is a day that the Lord have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Glory to the Most High God. Certainly we are grateful to the praise team, our special guest minister, Cedric Brown. We are doubly honored again to have you all with us. Take a moment to go ahead and get your Bibles and call somebody and tell them that God has a word for them today. You know somebody that's down, give them a call and bless them this morning. You know somebody that's seeking an answer from God, why don't you text them and tell them God has a word. Don't give up. Stay in the fight. We want to talk for a brief moment with this thought in mind, if you would allow us. Simply this. In times like these. Amen. In times like these. Lord willing, our sub-thought for this morning I need thee. Hallelujah. Most of you are like me. We grew up in the church. Some of us maybe even grew up around the church. But we've heard the saying in times like these, we need a Savior. Heard it all of our lives. But it's something about this season, this time, that it takes on a new meaning in times like these. I've heard it said, if I ever needed the Lord before, I sure do need him now. And I just come to be a witness that you can't make it by yourself. My brother, my sister, you cannot go in your strength. You're going to need the strength of God. You can't make it on your own intellect. Hallelujah. You're going to need the will and the word of God. You've got to follow Christ now. There's so many booby traps. There's so many ditches that have been dug and covered up by the enemy to entrap you, to entangle you, and ultimately to destroy you. And we come this morning to tell you and to remind you that you need Jesus. 
not just a picture on the wall, not just a tag on your car, not even just a cross around your neck. You need Jesus in your heart, in your spirit, in your soul. He needs to be the operating force behind your life in this season. There's something different about this season. Even in your room now, just say this season. Hallelujah. This season. Amen. God, God is trying to do something. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is shaking up something. He's stirring up something. This season. Come on, loose it out of your, your mouth, out of your belly. Just this season. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the devil is nervous now. He's confused now because he doesn't understand why are we saying this season. Because he thought that this season was a bad season. He thought that in this season he would take you out. But if you will put it in the atmosphere this season. Hallelujah. This season. Come on with me. I shall live. Come on, tell the devil now. In this season, I shall live and not die. Glory to God. Come on, put it in the atmosphere. I, I'm not going to hold you long, but, but we come, glory to God, to come together today. I shall live and not die. You got to speak it over yourself. Speak it over your family. Speak it in your house. Speak it over your friends. We shall not live, die, but we shall live and declare the works of the Lord. This season. In times like these. God has, he has a way of causing and calling his people to trust him. And you look at what's going on around us. And I hear the spirit just saying, will you trust me? Your money's slow, but will you trust me? He's calling us to live carefully now. You can't just go anywhere and everywhere with any and everybody. God said, you got to be careful now. Yes, Lord. Everybody now, you got to watch who you hang out with now. The devil is trying, trying to trick us now. And then the word of the Lord teaches us in this season, we've got to be watchful. You can't sit back and just have fun and party. You got to watch you got to look out now. The enemy is coming. And finally, we've got to pray. You got to pray like you've never prayed before in this season. This season is calling for us to up our game now. To read more, to pray more, to worship more, to give him glory more, to honor him more. To live more upright than we've ever lived before in this season. Let's talk about this season for a moment. In this season, here's what we are facing. You know what the word says, and we're going to get into the scripture in just a moment. It says that many are the afflictions of the righteous. Let's talk about them just for a moment. We're facing even now an uptick in the coronavirus and COVID-19 cases. Instead of it going down, the numbers are going up. I need you to hear God this morning. 
in spite of everything that we've done and we thought that they were subsiding only to hear later that they are on the rise this season. In this season, we were thinking everybody was getting ready to go back to work and have life as usual, only to hear that more companies are closing and more businesses are laying off, loss of jobs, which means loss of income, which means some people will have financial instability. People are concerned whether they are going to be able to keep their home where they're going to be able to keep their vehicles, where they're going to be able to continue the lifestyle that they have become accustomed to in this season. In this season, we're quarantined again. Shut up in our homes. No large crowds in this season unable to really go back to church and fellowship as usual in this season. Police brutality. People are being killed senselessly in this season. Racial tension and racism is being displayed like it's never been displayed before in this season. There's a war in Afghanistan that's been going on more than 18 years in this season. Suicide rate is up. Family stress is up. Divorce rate is up in this season. Storms are at a record high, tornadoes and storms are all over the place in this season. God has a way of shaking our faith and testing our spiritual resolve. You've got to make up your mind in this year. You're going to stay with the Lord. People are looking for some assurance, some peace of mind that they can hold on to. Because everything seemed to be moving as if we are in a spiritual earthquake. Things are falling, things are breaking, things that should be sturdy are breaking and falling and is hurting people. And we don't really know where to run and what to do this season. And I just want to give you three points of things that you can do and we will call it a morning. Bless the Lord. The first thing, what we can do. Look to God for your security and your strength. If you would, for our scripture reading, if you would turn with me to the book of Luke chapter 21. The book of Luke chapter 21. I want to look at Verse 5, verse 6, if you would, turn with me. Luke chapter 21, verse 5, and verse 6. The word of the Lord reads, And as some spake of the temple, how it was adorned with goodly stones and gifts, he said, and this is Jesus, as for these things which ye behold, the day will come in the which there shall not be left one stone upon another. They shall not be thrown down in this season. God was having a word with the disciples. In the time of Herod, they were looking at the temple that had been built. I need you to hear what God is saying here. 
They start building on that temple in AD of BC 30. And for many years, it took them to build this temple. They put precious stone. I even read that some of the jewels that they used were over two feet long. Can you imagine a diamond two feet long? A ruby, a pearl. Gold overlaid the temple. And they had gotten to where they believed that if they got inside of that temple, they were secure that everything would be all right. That this was a place of safety, that this was a place that they could go and they could get the word that they needed to get. So much so until they was worshiping the temple and not God. God has a way of reminding us who's in charge. God has a way of reminding us that our help doesn't come from a building. Our help doesn't come from our wealth. It doesn't come from our job. Our help comes from him. What can we do? Number one, look to God for your security and your strength. The Lord told him in Luke, he said, listen, the temple will be destroyed. And what God was telling us is there are going to be some things in your life that you think will last forever. They're going to be restored. There are going to be some things that's going to be taken away from you. There are going to be some things that you thought would never change that are going to change. But if you keep your eye on me, everything is going to be all right. Let me give you a scripture out of Isaiah 41 and 10. 41 and 10 say, fear thou not for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with my right hand of righteousness. The Lord told us that no matter what we are looking at, no matter what we are seeing, no matter what's happening in this season, don't worry about it. Don't let it get you destroyed. Don't let it make you lose your grip. He said, don't worry about it. I got this. It looks bad, but I'm still in control. You may not see me, but I need you to understand I haven't left you. You may not have even heard me when you pray, but I need you to understand I heard you. I need you to understand that I'm still working things out in your favor even though you don't see it. Do you believe God this morning? Do you believe that God can work it out in your favor in spite of how it looks, in spite of how it feels, in spite of what others have said? God say, will you trust me and don't be worried? God said, I got this. He said, I'm upholding you with my hand of righteousness. In other words, God said, I got you and I'm not going to let anything tear you apart. I'm not going to let anything tear you down. I just need to know that you trust me. Look to God for your security and your strength. Psalms 121 said, look to the hills for which cometh your help. Your help cometh from the Lord who made both heaven and earth. God said, look to me when things get chaotic. He teaches us that he is our strength. And if we wait on him, he shall renew our strength. Point two, listen to God here. Be careful who you follow. Listen to what God says. Be careful who you follow and believe in. I'm not going to go back to it, but you can go and read in verse 8 and the subsequent verses how he said that there are going to be people that's going to come, that's going to say they are this and they'll say that, that. He said, but you better be careful who you trust now. Be careful because the enemy is going to come and look like he's a sheep, but if you search him deep enough, you'll find out 
He's only a false teacher. He's a wolf in sheep clothing. He said, be careful, for many will come in my name. The enemy is out to confuse us. He's out to manipulate us. He's out to deceive us, and you got to be careful now. Can't afford to trust somebody because they got a slick word. You can't afford to trust somebody because they know how to put all of the adjectives with the adverbs and kick out the pronoun and circle around the verb. You got to know now the word of God because the enemy is out to deceive. He's out to trick because he understands that his time is about up. And I don't know about you, but we're getting closer to the end days, the end times. We've got to do as others have done. We've got to begin to get our house in order. Third thing, don't get caught off guard. Verse 34 and 36 teaches us. It says, don't get caught up in living a worldly lifestyle, but be, don't get caught off guard when Christ comes back. Don't get so caught up in having a good time until you forget about the masters coming home. Don't get so caught up in trying to do what everybody else is doing as if you don't know the bridegroom is going to come. The word of the Lord says, though he tarry, yet shall he not tarry. He says he shall come when we least expect it. Say he's coming like a thief in the night. And so those of us that love God and trust God and trying to make it into the kingdom, we can't get caught off guard. Look out for the distractions. Watch folk that's trying to make you take your eye off the prize. Amen. To make you try to forget about what Christ has said and what Christ has sown into your heart and in your spirit. Stay focused now. So here, what do we do? We look to God for our strength and for our security. Be careful who we follow. Don't get caught off guard. I remember a song we used to sing, and I'm just going to give you the words of one of the verses, and we'll be done for this morning, because this is a very crucial time in your life now. Some of you have recovered from various illness and sicknesses. Some of you are living your life better than you've lived. Some of you are worried and some of you are concerned. But no matter where you are right now, you need the Lord. This is an opportunity for you to seek Jesus. This song was written by Annie S. Hawks in 1872. Listen to the words of this song. It says, I need thee every hour, most gracious Lord. No tender voice like thine can peace afford. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour, I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior, I come to thee. I need thee every hour. Stay thou nearby. Temptation lose their power when thou art nigh. I need thee every hour in joy or pain. Come quickly and abide, for life is vain. I need thee every hour. Teach me thy will. And thy rich promises in me fulfill. I need thee every hour, most holy one. Oh, make me thine indeed, thy blessed son. This was written in 1827. Now listen to it in 2020. I need thee every hour, most gracious Lord. 
No tender voice like thine can peace afford. Now somebody said, Pastor, you saying the same thing in 1827, what they said. That's exactly right. Because just as they needed them in 1827, we need them in 2020. We need him in Jackson. We need him in Vicksburg. We need him in Meridian. We need him in Tupelo. We need him in Gulfport, Biloxi. We need him in Alabama. We need him all over the world. I need thee. Oh, yes, Lord. I need thee. How long and how much do I need thee? Every, yes, sir, every hour. Oh, yeah. I used to hear somebody say, every minute of the day, I need thee. Yes, sir. Oh, bless. Oh, somebody ought to speak in your house this morning. Somebody ought to let the Lord hear you say, oh, bless me now. Oh, yes, Lord. Somebody ought to talk to him. Oh, bless. Yes, sir. Me now. My Savior. Oh, God, I come to to thee. Will somebody just tell God, I need thee. Come on, wherever you are. Oh, I need thee. Will you talk to God this morning? Yeah. Every hour. Yes, sir. I need thee. Will you talk to him? Will you talk to him? Oh, bless. Yes, sir. Bless me now. My say. My say. My Savior, I, I come, yes, sir, to, to thee. Will you give God your life this morning? Will you recommit to God this morning? Will you tell God, I've been trying to do it by myself? But Lord, I need them. I've been trying to fix it by myself, God. But I've come to the place where I realize I need the God. I've been trying to work it out, God. But I hadn't been able to work it out. And so here I stand. Simply saying I need thee. And I ain't ashamed about it to let the world know I need thee. Can't make it without you. Don't want to make it without you. Will you tell God I, I need thee? Yes, sir. Will you tell him this morning if your heart isn't too hard Yes, sir. If your neck isn't too still, if your pride isn't too high, will you tell God? Yes, sir, I need. Yes, sir, I need. Oh, oh I need Him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can't make it without you. Don't wanna make it without you. Won't try to make it without I mean. Yes, sir. I need thee. Yes, sir. Just lift your hand where you are. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we need you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we surrender. Hallelujah. We give it all to you, God. Yes, Lord. No longer I will, my Lord. Bless your name. 
but thy will be be done. It's not about us anymore, God. It's all about you now. We just want to see you one day. And hear you say, sir, well done. Blessed like no one else can but you. We'll give you the glory. We'll give you the praise. In thy son Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. And may God keep you in times like these. Amen. What an awesome word in times like these. And I think that we all have realized that these are perilous times and that nobody can help us or can save us but the Lord. Amen. So we pray that this word has blessed you all. And we are here to encourage you all that God is still able to see you through whatever it is. Amen. So be encouraged. God is able. Minister Cedric Brown is going to help us and close out this service, guys. Be blessed and enjoy the rest of your week. Hallelujah. He is able. Hallelujah. Come on, put those hands on it. Whoever you may be sitting there right now, if you enjoyed the word, hallelujah. The song says, God is able. God is able. Come on. Just to carry you Just through. Just to carry you through. Makes no difference, y'all.
Somebody say yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes. He's able. Yes, he is. He will see you through. My Lord Jesus, he's worthy. Oh.